Good morning and happy Saturday, friends. Welcome to another uh, edition of Saturday Morning Makes. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so or give me and or give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Okay, I've got two cards to share with you today. Um, the first one actually was from Stamp Club earlier in the week, and my friend Leah brought the card for us to make, but I happen to have some of the things, or one of the things anyway, used to make the card. I'm going to show you the card, and then I'll show you the things. So it's this lovely lighthouse card here. And as a side note, this lighthouse right here, Yaquinta Head Lighthouse, actually is just down the road from where I live. So it's probably maybe a mile, if that, away from my house. And so this stamp happens to be from an old uh, Stampin' Up! set of lighthouses. I think she said it was called Coast to Coast. I have a stamp of this lighthouse. Mine um, is a bigger image. Uh, and so anyway, if you're looking for this particular lighthouse, I would say look... Um, at that name coast to coast maybe on ebay or something or look up yaquina bay lighthouse and it's spelt y-a-q-u-i-n-a and then look at the fun inside this is a book fold card and i have the die to show you fortunately because i also have this die now the beautiful papers i'm not sure where she got those from they are absolutely gorgeous it reminds me of um, some Stampin' Up! paper, but it was more in green colors. I don't believe this was Stampin' Up! paper. Now this cardstock is. It's Knight of Navy and Crumb Cake, I think. But yeah, and this looks way more difficult than, than it is. It's really just a lot of um, cutting. And then the die scores for you too, so that makes it easy. Now these stamps here, I stamped after I got home and I will show you the stamps I used for that. And let me show you the die. So this is the die set and this is the information. It's from um, Divinity Designs and it's called Bookfold Card with Layers, CBD495. And there you can see all the different um, dies and how it comes together. It's a big set here. So that's what all the dies look like. And there is the information again. Okay. And then I stamped this stamp inside, and unfortunately, there is no information on this stamp whatsoever. Listen to the whispering wind amidst the seabird's song. Days spent at the seashore are never very long. So it's a really nice saying, and I'm sorry that I don't have any information to give you, but there's not any on the stamp. This one, however, is from a... Stampin' Up! set called Sunny Sentiments. And it's a great stamp set. Okay, so that is my first card to show you. And then I'll show you my second card and then I'll show you the things that I used to make it. So this one has kind of a vintage feel. I think it turned out so cute. I was just really tickled with the way it came out. And when I first did the tulips, I did them in that really bright pink co uh, color, which is actually called Polished Pink from Stampin' Up! 
And then I went back over it with um, some other colors because I just wanted it to be muted down a little bit and have some of those gorgeous colors that you see in tulips when they're pink and yellow and orange. And so I did that. And this stamp design here is from uh, one of my buddies here on YouTube, Anna White, and I will show you that stamp in a minute. This fun trim here is a new die set that I got from uh, Sizzix uh, by Tim Holtz. And I didn't stamp anything yet on the inside. I just took some more of that paper and made a little flag there for interest and stamped my name stamp on the back. This paper here is very textured. Okay, let me show you the things I used to make it. First of all, here is that stamp by Anna. It's called Happy Spring Bunny. Isn't it so cute? It's adorable. It is a red rubber cling mounted stamp with their snapper designs. So I used that. Here is that dice that I was talking about by Tim Holtz. And it makes these four different lace trims, which I just love. I used layering ovals, framelits, dies from Stampin' Up. And then here's the papers. I used this Madeline Collection paper pad. Um, I think it's from American Crafts. That's what that little symbol, well, it says Prima Marketing. So I guess it's from there. You get 48 pieces in this pack. It's been in my stash for a while, but it's really a beautiful um, set of papers. I love the colors in this one. Pretty vintage looking, I think. Yeah, so I used those. And then this pad here I've really had a long time. It's um, from Die Cuts with a View, DCWV. And I actually have this in this matte stack, and then I have these papers in a 12 by 12 pad as well. You get 75 sheets in here. Yeah, I've had this for a long time. I think I got it at Joann's way back when. And this is the piece that I used on my card. Um, like I said, very textured. All the papers in this one are very, they have that linen feel to them, very textured. I can't remember if in the 12 by 12 pad that they are also textured or if they're just smooth. But while it has this far east and some of the designs in it are very Asian looking, um, there are also a lot of designs that are not, and they are just one-sided, but it's a nice um, weight to this card. So those were the papers I used. And then my little um, embellishments were from these Fun Stampers Journey Candy Minis. And as you can see, I've used quite a few of them. So that was that, and here's another look again at my cards. So please uh, go over and also check out uh, Jill Norwood's channel. She started Saturday Morning Makes, and I will put information down below in the description box um, about Saturday Morning Makes, and we'll hope, we hope that you will join along with us. And... Um, be sure to search out the hashtag SatMornMakes and you will be able to see all of what the other makers have created for this weekend and uh, for all the Saturdays. It just depends on how you um, search. You can filter out the search to just this week or take a look at everything. And also if you um, 
want some more inspiration, go back and look at my video from yesterday. I made some really cute circle shaker cards. Okay, thanks for stopping by my channel today, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.